Anna is live for our virtual food drive. Hey, Anna. Good morning at the Greater Chicago Food Depository Warehouse where all these boxes are eventually put in trucks that go and help around 700 food pantries, soup kitchens, like the one you're going to see right now. Boxes full of food have overtaken what once was the reception area at Care for Real Food Pantry on Sheridan Road. It's packed with so much food because we have seen more than double the new registrations just from March through the end of September this year than we did all of 2019, twice the amount of new households that we're serving. Gregory Ross says their partnership with the Greater Chicago Food Depository has allowed them to meet the demands of this huge increase. They have definitely helped us respond to the need with increasing the amount of food that we have, not only for here, but also for our pop-up pantry in Rogers Park. Plenty. Care for Real has been serving the community of Edgewater and Rogers Park in the north side of Chicago for 50 years. But the pandemic of 2020 has brought a new kind of clientele. Brock Allen Bear tried to avoid coming to the food pantry for as long as he could. But by mid-March, he couldn't avoid it any longer. It took me a while to like not have the the pride to come here or like over, get over that, but to not be taking away from someone else because I felt like I could still go out and get a job or still go out and do something. And um, it just got to a point to where I couldn't. The people here are really friendly and they kind of cater to the person's need or dietary like restrictions. As he looks for a new job, Brock says being able to come to care for real is extremely comforting. What so, difference does this make in your life, Brock? It's a huge, huge relief for like my mom, especially uh, she lives in North Dakota. She's sick and she can't really help out. Mm -hmm. But um, to know that I have like food and somewhere to live and I'm not mm -hmm. like on the streets mm -hmm. <laughs> is is a blessing. Definitely a blessing for thousands of people that because of this crisis have now visited these food pantries when maybe they had never been before. Guys, the food pantries are seeing an exponential increase in clientele, so the need is bigger for the food depository to get that food to provide to these pantries, something they're doing now for free for this year. Sometimes they have to pay a fee, but this year they're providing all this food for free. We need your help. We really do. A dollar can pay for three meals. You could spare a dollar, could you? So if you can, this is how we're gonna do it this year. You're gonna text WGN to 41444, or you can go to our website, wgntv.com slash food drive, and you can make any donation you can right there.